All right, this is the second installment in the Wheatstone Bridge series. Uh, we have suggested that we have adjusted R3, which is a variable resistor, to 100 ohms. Uh, bridge element number one is a 10 ohm resistor. Bridge element number two is a 15 ohm resistor. This is a 10 volt supply. Uh, if this 100 ohms causes the bridge to be balanced, it must be as a result of this being 150 ohms. All right, so we calculated that last time. Now this time what we're interested in is uh, the sensitivity of the detector. If this is a voltmeter uh, with a high input resistance, uh, so there's no current being drawn across there, and this 150 ohms changes to something different, example 151 or 149, uh, how sensitive does this voltmeter have to be in order to detect that? Well, we find that the uh, uh, we're looking at the sensitivity of the voltmeter, and so let's look at VAB. That is the voltage across A and B. That's what the voltmeter is seeing, and this is the uh, two voltage dividers, a voltage divider down the left-hand side, and that is 100 ohms on the bottom. 100 plus 10, which is the total resistance, all multiplied by 10 volts. We're going to subtract from that uh, the resistance, which is now 151 ohms, divided by 151 plus 15, all multiplied by 10 volts. All right, so that's the actual voltage due to the voltage divider on the left-hand side, the voltage divider on the right-hand side, looking at the middle terminals and detecting the voltage between those two. We do the calculations on this. This comes out to be 9.0909 uh, volts minus 9.09638 volts. This has a difference of 0 0.00547 volts or, in other words, 5.5 millivolts. So, in order to change, in order to detect a 1 ohm change in the 150 ohm uh, unknown resistor, we would have to have a voltmeter capable of detecting something as small as 5.5 millivolts. 5.5 millivolts is well within the range of a standard voltmeter. However, if you needed something more sensitive than that, or if you wanted to detect something smaller than a 1 ohm change, you would have to make the bridge more sensitive. Making the bridge more sensitive would be a matter of, at least one way of doing it, would be increasing the 10 ohm, the 10 volts supply. If that 10 volts became 20 volts, then this number would become a bigger number and presumably easier to detect. So that's what happens when we put a voltmeter into a Wheatstone bridge circuit. Thanks. Bye.